In today's video, we're going to take a look at supporting and rendering Markdown in your SwiftUI application. Before we jump into things, start by dropping a like down below, hit that subscribe button, let's open up Xcode, create a new project, and take a look at some Markdown. So we're going to stick with the app template under iOS, and I'll creatively call this Markdown Support. Make sure your language is Swift and your interface is SwiftUI. Go ahead and continue, save it wherever you'd like, I'll toss it onto my desktop. And first things first, we want our preview to be up and running so we can actually see what we build. And I'll also go ahead and collapse this left panel since we'll be only working in this one file. So as soon as Xcode decides to get his life together and load the preview, we'll talk about Markdown. So if you're not familiar, Markdown is this incredibly common standardized way to write uh, you know, text and format it. It's used on GitHub, IDEs, Readmes, a bunch of other mediums. And in fact, it's baked right into the Swift UI text component. So here we have a text component already. Hello world. Let's go and show how to use Markdown in this. So we are going to be using the three quotes here so we can actually separate out what we write. Let me actually add a couple tabs just to get some alignment going. And first things first, if you want to go and add something and make it bold, you can do it pretty trivially. So let's say hello world again, and we're gonna put it inside of two asterisks just like that. And if you take a look on the left, you will start to see that it is bold. Now let's actually go and get rid of some of these tabs because it is pushing over our text in a weird looking way. So let's actually put it back here again. And let's see, it's a insufficient string literal content must begin with, let's see what this is yelling at me about. And it must begin on a new line. Okay, let's see. There we go. Looks like it's yelling at me about that. So here we are. So we now have Hello World on the right-hand side. Now let's actually continue with this and say, Hello World, welcome to iOS Academy. And let's say we want iOS Academy to be italic. Now we can get away with doing that by adding a single asterisk. So standard uh, formatting from Markdown. Now, the one thing that's pretty cool and I think actually relevant to a lot of people making a variety of apps is having inline links. So let's say we want to say by continuing, you agree to the terms of service. Now we want terms of service to be a link and let's say we don't necessarily want to use, you know, a attributed and a string with a link property since it's a little verbose. Now what we can do is simply drop in a link in the standard format that Markdown expects and in the parentheses we can go ahead and specify a URL. And just like that we not only get our link here, it also color codes and if I go ahead and tap on it when the app is running it will actually open the link in Safari. The next natural question is how do I format that link? Uh, particularly its color, what we can do is specify its tint color, so we can say color.purple perhaps, and what you'll see on the right hand side is that our link will reflect that color. So that's basically all I have for you guys today, super short and trivial video. It's really amazing actually the fact that you can use Markdown directly in this. Uh, it makes your formatting life a whole lot easier. And the other thing that I really like about this is the fact that you can not only do things like this, but you can also do other aspects of Markdown that you would expect to be supported. So um, we have things like our bold, italic, strike throughs. Now I purposely added this here for a heading. Now you notice the heading here did not in particular, in particular render as it should um, in a Markdown environment, but that's what I wanted to illustrate that some things are supported, but some things aren't. Namely, the most important thing here is support for a link. And the last one I'll illustrate before we wrap up this video is a strike through. So let's go um, and say just kidding about the terms. And I believe it is two what I call squigglies. If we put it into squigglies, we can go ahead and add a strike through for that particular piece of text. And there you have it. That's how you can add Markdown in your SwiftUI labels. Pretty trivial, pretty simple. Links are the most useful part of this, in my opinion. Let me know down below if you've used this before, if you plan to. If you have any video suggestions, drop a like before you click away. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Connect on all the socials, Twitter, LinkedIn. You guys know the drill. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.